Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you a few steps or a few tips on how to reinvent yourself. So if you are thinking about reinventing yourself in 2020, this is the video for you. So keep watching, we'll get started right after the intro. <laughs> So it's 2020 and you've been thinking about reinventing yourself and you're not really sure how to get started or if you should get started. You just know that it's been on your mind and it's something that you've really been kind of thinking about but you're a little afraid to do or you don't know how to do. So I'm going to share with you a few tips on how to get started. Now first, before we get started, let me just say that if you've been thinking about it, then yes, 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 you should do it. You should do it because life is all about evolution. It's about changing, it's about growing, and it doesn't matter what career path you've been on, it doesn't matter how old you are, those things really don't matter. You really need to think about whether or not this is something you want to do, and if it is, then go for it. You are the only person that is stopping you, so why not explore and see if it's something you want to do. So the first thing you need to do if you've been thinking about reinventing yourself is you need to do your research. Now, if you're thinking about starting your own business, you may want to research that business in terms of what does it take to start a business? How many hours does it take? What kind of investment you have to make up front? What all is involved in starting your own business? In addition to that, if you're thinking about taking your career to the next level because you want to be promoted to that next level, look at what it takes to get to that next level. Do you have the education that it takes to get to the next level? Do you have the skills that it takes to get to the next level? Are you willing to invest in going to the next level? You want to take a look at all of those things. Do your research. Not only do you read books and anything else that you can get your hands on, but also you want to interview people that are in those positions that you're trying to go to. Whether it's starting your own cupcake business, interview someone who has a cupcake business. If you want to go to the next level in your career and become a manager in marketing, interview a manager in marketing. You want to interview people that are already in those positions because they have firsthand knowledge on what it takes to get there and also what it takes to stay there. Okay, so after you've done your research, you want to make sure that you do an inventory. Do an inventory of where you are currently, the skills that you have currently, how you need to build your skills, what it's going to take to build your skills. Also, do an inventory in terms of what kind of investment you need to make. Again, whether it's a financial investment or if you're trying to go to the next level in your career, Think about the investment that you may have to make in terms of your overall image. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later, but there is an investment because if you're used to coming to work in khakis and just a button down, but you know that managers at the next level, well, they usually wear business suits or some kind of business attire that's a little more formal than your khakis and button down, that is an investment for you. So think about and do an assessment on where you are to see if you have those things, if you need to invest in those things, and if you're willing to do it. Also, look at the amount of time that it's now going to take when you go to the next level. If you're starting your own business, you know that in the beginning, the startup phase, you're going to invest a lot of time. And if you're going to the next level in your career, you're going to invest a lot of time because now you have more responsibilities. And so you are going to work a little bit more frequently than you did before. So do an inventory, see where you are and see if you're willing to make the investment. Now, after you've done your research, after you've conducted an inventory, you now have to look at your personal brand. Now, we all have a personal brand, whether we believe it or not. We have a brand and our brand speaks for us before we even say a word. So you wanna make sure that you do an assessment of your overall personal brand. If you're trying to go to the next level in your career, you wanna make sure that your personal brand is saying that you're trying to go to that next level, whether it is your overall image, whether you dress the part, whether you act the part, or whether it's just how you treat people in general. Are you kind to others? 
Do you just want the position because it's just a position and you want to go to the next level? Your personal brand says all of these things about you. So you really have to look at your brand. You have to look at your overall skills, your overall experience, your personal appearance, your business etiquette, all of these things make up your personal brand. And so you want to make sure that you take a look at your overall personal brand, do an assessment of your personal brand and be willing to do whatever it takes to change your brand. Now your brand isn't about being fake. It really is about showing people what you believe in, what you're good at and who you are as a person. And really when you take a look at your personal brand and you do it correctly, then it's going to be authentically you. So make sure you take a look at your personal brand. Okay guys, so the last thing that it's going to take in terms of really thinking about reinventing yourself is to get a mentor. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I talk about a mentor all the time because having a mentor is so important and we all have to have mentors. We all have to have sponsors to get to the next level. And if someone is telling you that you don't, they are not being truthful. Having a mentor is so important because mentors really are people who have been there, they've done that, they know what you're going through, they're people that you can confide in and talk to, they are people that you can learn so much about the business that you're trying to go into because they've been there, they've done it, and so they are great people to talk to, to have, to motivate, encourage you, and to help you in terms of the next steps that you need to take. So that is it. Those are a few quick tips on how to reinvent yourself for 2020. I hope that you all are thinking about reinventing something for 2020, whether it is going to the next level of your career or starting your business or changing your overall image. Make sure that you continue to change and continue to grow and do it all with a positive attitude. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.